right. I have with me John Cowgill. Yep, right on one. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's in charge of uh, PR, public relations for Asylum Haunted Screen Park. Oh. There it is. <laughs> All right. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Tell, tell me a little bit about what you're trying to promote. Well, we are here, as you said, for Asylum Haunted Screen Park. We are a 42-acre haunted attraction in Louisville, Kentucky. Most of it is actually outdoor. We actually have four separate attractions. Uh, first of all, we have what we call our wraparound scene, uh, which is the Carnival of Lost Souls. You have classic carnival games, carnival food, and we have our friends at Blue Moon Circus actually doing a good sideshow entertainment every 30 to 45 minutes, ranging from sword dancing, uh, fire eating, and uh, expelling, fire breathing. Uh, we actually have a contortionist, and if we're lucky, our friend Jack of Blue Moon Circus will be able to do jump roping with a hula hoop on a unicycle. Wow. <laughs> now, that's the free thing that you get in. When you actually pay the ticket, you have choice of three different haunts. First of all, you actually have what we know as our flagship haunt, which was actually in existence prior to Asylum Haunted Scream Park coming on the map. It's called Darkness Falls in Asylum. It is your job uh, to, you have stumbled into a 42-acre wood, but there is about three-quarters of a mile of trails within it, and it is populated by a whole group of escaped asylum inmates uh, from a fire in a insane asylum close by that have decided to make these woods their home. And of course, if you stumble across them, they will try to kidnap you, kill you, skin you, eat you, bury you alive, and or dead, depending on who you meet while you're in there, plus a whole bunch of other nameless torture types. Now, that's just one of three. Second, we have Zombie City. Uh, imagine if you walked into the set of Walking Dead in reality and actually walked through and played an episode. That is kind of sort of what Zombie City is. Uh, I like to call it the post-apocalyptic zombie survival scenario walkthrough. It has a legitimate storyline from the very first entrance to the very end, and over the last four years, it has actually evolved. This year, the Germans have invaded. <laughs> Now, third, I don't know if you've heard before, but a couple of years ago there was an awesome movie that had premiered here in Kentucky uh, called Overtime, uh, created by a very good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Cunningham over here. Like, Wave, hi! <laughs> and uh, starring Al Snow of WWE fame. Uh, it actually killed zombie aliens. Well, our third attraction is Exterminate Zalian Attack. It picks up where the movie leaves off. Okay. You are given a CO2 rifle, and it is your job to destroy and kill the remaining zombie aliens, Zalians, to blow up the uh, base and to destroy their queen and save the universe. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> Now, something you might guys might get a kick out of, I'm sure you're familiar with the internet phenomena known as Slenderman. Yes. On the 23rd and the 30th of October, we actually have two special events called the Slenderman Live Action Experience. Here's what you gotta do. Two people and one flashlight, the only source of illumination that you have, and it is your job to traipse through these woods and find all eight pages and get out alive before the Slenderman finds you. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm excited. I, you know. I'm excited talking <laughs> yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> Obviously, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, what's your favorite one? What is uh, my yeah. favorite one? Being that I'm a theater kid and I've been doing it a lot in my life, Zombie City with the all theatrical experience actually appeals to me most. I mean, all three of them have their merits, don't get me wrong, but I'm partial to Zombie City myself. It sounds like there's a lot of like uh, you know interacting, you know, uh, not just not just a walkthrough, a very uh, interactive experience. Oh, like, yeah. how, how does that like compare to um, other haunted houses, say around well, the area, or even you know in the United States? Uh, from my experience, and I've been haunting since '95, so I've been in it a, a good almost 20 years now. Um, well, a lot of people will go through, and all you will end up getting uh, is just pop scares. It's just automatic, um, just one pop, one canned response, and go. With a theatrical haunt, and we're not the only one. There are a couple in the area. But with a theatrical haunt, it gives them a chance to actually go out and use improvisational acting skills and interact with the uh, with the patron, with the client. And it actually pulls them more into the story than anything else. It makes you a part of it. With Zombie City, there are some people that will actually get the cure. Are you going to be one of the ones that gets a cure? Or are you going to be infected? You actually become part of the story. That's what appeals to me. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, John, for uh, giving me your spiel here. This is exciting for me. Good, I sir. It is my pleasure. to check it out. Um, so, again, this is John Calgill. Got you on I one I got again. it. And just remember, if you guys have any interest, tickets and stuff are on sale at AsylumHaunts.com. Be sure to tune in to Horror Hive as well, where the blood runs like honey. <laughs>